Hey friends, how are you? It's Carol, um, salt box stitcher. <laughs> like, who am I? Um, back, it's, okay, let me start over. Hello friends, it's Carol, salt box stitcher. It is, uh, Thursday the 17th of November. Happy birthday to my step-granddaughter, Corinne, and happy birthday to my nephew, Danny. So that's my sister's middle child. Anyway, it's Thursday, November 17th, and this is episode... Okay. I always... I, I don't know what's coming. Yeah. <laughs> this piece of paper. One of his best pens. You're going to write on it. I'm going to write on it. Okay. Yes. These are questions. <clears throat> He's been sick, so we'll, are, we'll give him a break. These are questions every husband should know. I'm assuming that means you know them. What's the date of our anniversary? The month or the year? Both. Uh, November 27th. It's this week. It's next weekend. Write, write it down. And include the year. That's 2022. Oh, our anniversary. Okay. Sorry. November 27th today, and it's 2022. So it's 10 more days. So she got that question right. Okay, ding, ding, ding. Every husband should know that. Okay. Now subtract the number of years we've been married from 2022. We've been married 40 years. Subtract that from this the year 2022. 1982. So this is episode number... 1982. <laughs> 82. Well, that was a long way around. Thank you, dear. 40 years with the same man. <laughs> That's what my dad used to say. God, you've been married how many years? And he'd be like, yeah, with the same woman. <laughs> We dated for about six years because I couldn't get him to marry me. So, hmm, I'm going on 50 years with you. <laughs> Lord have mercy. That's like way more than half my life. Okay, you're not here for my, <laughs> to hear any wedding vows. You're here for stitching and I have some stitching to show you. The first thing I want to show you, he's got to hand it to me and then I'll, because it's heavy. I have five finishes, four of which I have fully finished. Another shocker. So this is the centerpiece dough bowl. Whoops, something fell out, but I'll take those out individually. Candle, all this wonderful greenery. Okay, just hold it there for a second. I'll take out the ones I've finished. Okay, so I was watching Brenda and Laura's video, and I was like, oh my gosh, we are on the same wavelength. Okay, now I have to get organized here. Okay, so the first, not necessarily in order of finished, when I finished them, but the first thing I'm going to talk about is this chart by Plum Street called Goodness and Plenty. Goodness and Plenty by Plum Street. And the, I did all three of them on the called for. And I fully finished them yesterday. I should have been quilting because I have a big, big quilt to do. And I know I'm getting other quilts, but just for you guys, I did the fully finishing. So here's the first one, Goodness and Plenty. These are so easy. These like take no time, really. You can do all three of them. Even if you're a super slow stitcher, you could do all three of them in a week. I think I did them in, it took me a little more than a day each. So that would be like four or five hours. So this is goodness and plenty. I put some gold rickrack, a green plaid on the back and I added some bells. It's not really Thanksgiving, but <laughs> 
if you'd look if you'd look at all the food we usually fix for Thanksgiving, you'd say, oh, that's goodness and plenty for sure. So I really like that. Um, I did make one change to the color. I think I have it in here somewhere. The green that it called for was, let's see here. That's not it. Oh, shoot. Now I didn't put the green on here. Okay, but I, I remember what it is. So the green that it called for was by Classic Color Works, and it's called Wilderness. Well, I have an old one because the old company was called Crescent Colors, and the new co company is Classic Color Works. So my wilderness is brown and yellow. I did and the DMC conversion was number 830, which is a green. I went with the DMC conversion. So you can see on here between the crows or blackbirds, whatever, is a green. I, did, I didn't want yellow. And anyway, I didn't go with that. The second one that's, okay, so that one is actually, of the three, there's one called Goodness and Plenty, the one I just showed you. Stitch count is 113 by 38, so it's very doable. The next one I did is Alphabet Sampler, and it's 59 by 50, and it's this one. And it has that same theme with the acorn. I don't know what these are, if they're like, I don't know, some kind of something. And again, I used the same plaid on the back and gold. Rick rack. This is that mini Rick rack. I got mine at the Amana uh, retreat. Farm Girl Dry Goods carries it. And this is just the gold. I mean, I don't think there's more than one. Uh, Brenda Gervais also carries it on her website. But um, so the first place is Farm Girl Dry Goods. We'll link it below. And also Brenda Gervais, but sometimes she's out of different colors. So it's that mini rack, Rick Rack. I also found some at Culture Station, but I don't know if they had colors. So Alphabet Sampler, very easy, goes very fast. So that's the second one in that series. And this is the third one. And this one is called Harvest Bird. This is 74, stitch count is 74 by 57. Again, I use the same, you know, when you're on a roll, you just use the same fabric. I do put iron-on interfacing on the back, obviously the wrong side of the fabric, and on the, excuse me, and on the inside of the um, stitching. So this is Harvest Bird. They're just so cute. And I just wasn't done with Thanksgiving stitching. I have a lot of, you know, fall that's Halloween-ish, and I don't have very much um, Thanksgiving. Because usually by after Halloween, everybody's ready to start Christmas stitching, which I did get some things out, charts to show you. But I haven't decorated, so I haven't gotten any of my smalls or any of that out yet. I do have my little pilgrim people here. So, again, that was goodness and plenty. I finished all three and fully finished them. Pretty good, huh? Another gold star, Carol. Okay, and then this is what I was talking about with um, on the same wavelength with Brenda and Laura. Now where's the pattern? Oh, shoot. It's got to be around here somewhere. I have everything in this basket, but evidently I took that out. Shoot. Well, this one is uh, Be Ye Thankful by Brenda Gervais. It just came out in the last couple months. I think I got it at, well, maybe it came out in June. I don't, I don't remember when it came out, but it's definitely this year. 
Be ye thankful. I used all the called for. Oh, by the way, that goodness and plenty, I used the called for except for that one that I changed. Um, so it was done on 36 Count Stars Hollow by R&R. &R. This one is done on calls for, and I did it on Country Mocha. And this one I just added a star and a bell. Be thankful. Now this one I used, it's kind of a green gold because I wanted it to match the house. And then that neutral color, Rick Rack. This Rick Rack's a little bigger. And I definitely got this at, at Quilter Station. It's kind of a light gray tan. So be ye thankful. I used all the called for colors and the called for fabric. Brenda Gervais with thy needle and thread. This is definitely available. And here's the pattern. I knew I got it out. Be ye thankful. It says 2022, so I know it came out this year. Be ye thankful. So that was a fully finish. So that's my four fully finished pieces. And then I have another piece that's finished. And that's my gather in. I had this almost, well, I had a lot of the house and grass left to do, but I had this almost finished last time. I'll take this out. Gather in by Plum Street. Now, I mentioned last time I was going to change the words, and I did. Which, by the way, once again, <laughs> the discussion continues about whether it's Calliope or Calliope. Because quite a f I'd say a number of people wrote me and said there's a street in New Orleans, New Orleans that people call, that's named the same name, and some people call it Calliope and some people call it Calliope. So maybe the jury is still out on that one. So Plum Street, the gather in. So it doesn't really matter whether you call it Calliope or Calliope because I did not stitch that. I went with the same thing that Jennifer Purple Stitcher did. And I put gather the gather in let me hold it for a little bit. So this is a finish. There's something on my, oh, here, just a thread. I will eventually have this framed, which by the way, I think that's gonna, you know, I've never done that where you come up with a word for the year. But I've been thinking, I think I'm gonna come up with the word frame. Not just about stitching and framing and all of that. Obviously, that's part of it. But the other is to frame my thoughts with goodness and kindness and to frame my words with compliments and please and thank you and all of that. So that may be my word. Gather. Gra gather with grateful hearts. I did. But gather in. In the little space on the grass which was a pain because I don't like over one stitching that's solid and I got off a couple times so it's certainly not perfect by any stretch of the imagination quit moving it around Carol and then up here where on the chart it says gather in I just did rock by sea witch church so it's finished I really enjoyed this one. I like fill-in stitching. Um, it's kind of mindless to me. So the other thing I was hoping, so that's five finishes. The other one I was really hoping to get finished and I worked on it last night and then I was like, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> and that is my Jane Cowie. 
I'm stitching today with friends, so I kind of, I don't know how long this will be, but I need to leave in a little while. So I knew I needed to get up earlier than normal, so I was like, I got to go to bed, even though I don't have it finished. So I have, this is Jane Cowie. The silver one is not for the faint of heart. Oh, first I'll show you the pattern, which looks like it's been through a war. What I do when I'm stitching, I put the front of the pattern back in the pattern sleeve. And then I put the colors on and the symbols on the back. Whether, the, whether this is the actual back of the pattern or not, I just make sure that I put the symbols on the back. That way I can constantly refer to these. And as I finish a page, I put it back in there of the chart. So this is Jane Cowie by the Scarlet House. I stitch, or am stitching this on 40 count vintage meadow rue by Lakeside. So I have one more line of over one to do. So that's what that space is there. One more line of over one. And then I need to finish her name and date down here at the bottom. And then she'll be done. And again, my word for next year is frame. I'm going to be... I have plenty to stitch, so I'm trying to be good and not invest in a lot of new charts. And I'm maybe only going to go to two retreats with my sister next year. And then everything else extra is going to framing. Because it's about time. You know, I have a lot of really good samplers that are finished that need to be framed. So this is Jane Cowie by the Scarlet House. And I will finish this. I might take a break tonight. I don't know. We'll see. I have another little Thanksgiving piece. <laughs> Just hold for a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, this is the one last Thanksgiving piece I want to do. This is by Thread Milk. And it's actually, obviously it says Happy Thanksgiving. I'm hoping to finish this one today. Or I'm actually stitching with friends the next couple days. So hoping to finish this and then fully finish it before Thanksgiving. <laughs> so this is from her For the Bowl series. It's by Thread Milk. Her name is Lori. And this one is called Turkey Tavern. I like all of them, but since I have other stuff that says grateful, I thought it would be fun to just do the Happy Thanksgiving one. So this is the Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I just pulled two colors to work with, to work on it. So these are actually, oops, these are like little pumpkins. So I pulled fallen leaves and then I pulled rust for the letters. So I had to go get that cause I had it in my bag and I have a piece of something, something. This is an R and R. This may be Stars Hollow too. I don't know, but it's just something that I want to, I mean, it's, not a very big piece. So I wanted to go get that out of my um, stitching bag that I'm taking with me today. So anyway, Jane Cowie is almost done. I will be glad to call her a finish and even more happy when it's all framed. So, the next thing, so that's what I've been stitching on. Kind of limited, but that's what it is. Um, the next thing I wanted to, oh gosh, I, <laughs> I actually really dislike, and I that's a strong word, but I don't like when my watch, my my Apple Watch comes up with this, don't forget to breathe. 
Do they realize that breathing just happens? As long as you're alive, you're gonna be breathing. You don't have to think about breathing, but that's a whole nother topic. Um, okay, so I'm starting to think about Christmas. I'm starting to think about 2023. Starting to think about what samplers I would like to do next year. And then I have some haul and a little bit of happy mail. I think there's a difference. I think happy mail are gifts. I don't always keep up with the lingo because sometimes I'm kind of oblivious, but I'm happy in my own oblivion. <laughs> I mean, really. Okay, so let's first talk about this piece. So Brenda Gervais with Unknown Thread, she recently released um, Santa Stops Here, which is a Christmas piece. And then there's a complimentary one that I think I saw on her. Anyway, there's like three Christmas pieces. And I knew that I had gotten those when I went to the Amana retreat in 2019. But 2019 is also the year that my daughter was diagnosed with colon cancer and she actually got sick. She was calling me during that retreat. So my brain's kind of oblivious to that retreat, but I did know that that was in that box. So I went searching through some of the boxes that you get. Brenda Gervais is very good. She always gives you a box. Um, there's been a couple other designers that'll give boxes and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So I was going through and I opened a diff another box and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot all about this. Because this one is from 2019. The Santa Stops Here and all of that is from 2021. So in 2019 at the Amana Retreat, we got this piece. It's going to jiggle a little bit because there's some finishing pieces in here. And it's called the Little Red House Sampler. So I got it out. There's the chart. I'm watching Brenda and Laura and I'm like, oh my gosh, I just got that out. Okay, Brenda, we're on the same wavelength. So it's one that I'd like to stitch in 2023, 20, whatever year this is coming up. Obviously, I know I've been married 40 years and he's not going to let me forget it, <laughs> which is a good thing. So it's called the Little Red House Sampler. Brenda showed it. You can get this on Brenda Gervais' website. But I know she sometimes closes down her website during holidays. So if you want it, go to her website, which is Country Stitches Online. And we'll try to remember to link it below. And then the complimentary one we got was called the Needleworkers Accoutrement accoutrement and it's this which is a needle book and then the this so this is all complete as far as the threads the linen and everything this one we can get our own it calls for linen the color linen by weeks dye works but then she says in the pattern that she over dyed it she said, if you don't want to over dye, then try a darker linen. And I think she suggested uh, some R&R &R linen. I can't remember. But anyway, Little Red House. I love that border. I mean, how can you not love that border? So that's kind of on my radar. She even gave us the things that go with it. Buttons instructions we had a little class project we did so all of that was in the box and I only happened to come across this because I was looking for the Christmas one that she just released and I'll show you that in a minute so then I was thinking about other oh he's gonna sit and watch me again <laughs> I just want to sit here and savor the past 40 years you are so full of it you know that this is not true. He's just trying to impress y'all. Okay, then I went looking through other samplers, 
that Brenda Gervais with a needle and thread has. And I want to stitch them all. So I got them out and I, some of them are kitted, some of them aren't, but these are ones that I, I want to stitch in uh, 2023. This one is Caroline Amelia Trowell. A lot of people have done this recently. It's gorgeous. It is a reproduction. Here's the antique inside the booklet. So this is on my, definitely on my radar. Caroline Amelia Trowell. This particular one I have kitted. So I have a piece of Seraphim antique lace, great project bag, and the threads, which are gorgeous and will be gorgeous on this linen. I have gotten different colors of antique lace. So if you have a chance to see what you're buying, it's probably, it's just a light neutral with a little bit of green to it. Um, Alcott by Needle and Flax would be a good choice too, or maybe Vintage Lentil by Lakeside. Um, anything that kind of has that color feel. This is an older one that Brenda Gervais did. It has a lot of rust and um, greens, but I love this piece. This is Elizabeth Clark, 1822. Again, by Brenda Gervais. It's very pretty. And this one came out, I'm sure you can get these on her website. This one came out in 2014. She just calls for antique ivory by Zweigart. So you could do it on any sampler neutral. Not pretty. And it has a little bit of over one. I'm telling you, that over one on Jane Cowley. It's about ready to put me in the nut house. <laughs> In St. Louis, there used to be an insane asylum. I mean, that's what they called it then. I don't know what the proper word is nowadays, but it was on Arsenal Street. So when we were kids, Mom said, you need to be on Arsenal. That's probably not nice to say anymore. <laughs> Things do change. Anyway, here's the colors for that. So as drab as it looks in the picture, there's some beauty, and they're all cotton. Beautiful. But the main color is a rust, it's not a red. So I have that one kitted. Sorry for the crinkling. This is one of those bags we all love to hate. This one's not kitted, but this one I got, uh, no, this one came out last year. No, this year, 2022. I think this came out at market. Regina Hable, Hable. It's very soft, it's just very pretty. You know, sometimes we think of Brenda Gervais things as being cute and, you know, a lot of smalls, but she does some beautiful samplers. Here's one that I've, I've actually seen this one finished. Don't ask me where, but I also have this one kitted. And this one's really pretty small. 159 by 203. I mean, it's not super small, but it's, but the picture does not do it justice. But this is the um, Ann Sandals. I think that's gorgeous. I don't think there's any, there is some four-sided stitch, but I don't think there's any over one on here. If there is, it's just minutia. Look at that pretty border and sandals. There's the threads for those, very pretty. This could be a candidate for my January sampler.
It calls for R and R iced cappuccino. I don't know if I have any of that, but I certainly have a sampler color that'll work for that. This one she came out with maybe at market. I'm not gonna take it out of the bag because this is another one of those bags we love to hate. This is the Red Bird sampler. Again, I've seen people finish this one. It's gorgeous. And there's the colors. Kind of like Jane Cowie, it has some brighter corals and pinkish. This is another one that she came out with either this year or last year. And this one I have linen with it, even. This is Hannah Ann Wallace. These are all Brenda Gervais. This one came out last year, 2021. How beautiful is that? That one calls for, I don't know what it calls for, but I have it kitted with some Boston. Who is Boston by? Hold on. And her booklets are really nice. You know, she like really does some beautiful photography. It calls for Patriot's Brew. Boston might be a seraphim fabric. And I have the threads. This is Ann Dickinson. This one is really, I love this one. It's just kind of random motifs. Ann Dickinson. And this came out in, I don't know, it's a mystery. But see the little, it's not a town, but the bottom line is just so cute. And then the random kind of, there's a ship, birds, an urn, a couple girls. Here's the girls, here's the ship. There is a little over one. The grass is green. The roof is red. This may be seen when I am dead. I got to do this one. <laughs> That's hilarious. And Dickinson. I don't have that one kidding. This one, I think Kitten Stitcher, not Kitten Stitcher, Kindred Stitcher. Lisa, I think is working on this one. Rejoice Evermore. Gorgeous. This came out this year. Beautiful. I don't know if this one's an original design or from an antique, but what does it matter? It's beautiful. Love the colors. And that one I have kitted. This was one that we I got at um, Country Sampler in June. I don't have it kitted. It's really small if you see it framed. And when I first saw the chart, I was like, Mm, I don't know if I need that. And then I saw it stitched and I was like, oh, that's adorable. It's really small. It's 89 by 118. And this is from an antique. And some of these aren't true reproductions. They're kind of adap adaptations, but they're still gorgeous. Tree of Life sampler. Again, Country Stitches Online. Um, this one, Brenda, I think she just finished Elizabeth Hunt with thy needle and thread. And in this one, she has you, um, over dye some DMCs. Not all of the threads are DMCs, but some of them. So I did that. I put them in coffee. Coffee's very precious around here. <laughs> Like my husband will save a cup from overnight and reheat it in the microwave in the morning. He's he, He's got a strong palate. Some of those I don't like. So then he'll know if I have leftover coffee in my cup 
then it's okay for him to take that, put it into his cup, <laughs> and then microwave it. <laughs> We're true coffee people. <laughs> anyway, I over dyed, and they just come out just a tinge more vintage. So when I labeled them, I put the color plus coffee. So anyway, that one is Elizabeth Hunt. I have it with a piece of, oh, I must have insulted him, he's leaving. <laughs> I'm teasing. 40 Count Sheep Straw by r and So that's on my radar. The last one is not available yet, um, I don't think. Um, this one, no, it's not available yet. This one I got at the Country Sampler Retreat this past June. So this one should come out sometime next summer, 2023. But someone in a manna was stitching this one. It was drop dead gorgeous. And the picture doesn't really give it I, the picture just looks a little bit, um, what's the word, kind of monochromatic. But I'm telling you, this piece is gorgeous. And she gave us floss tags with it. So look at the colors in this. This is hardly monochromatic. And it's, she gave us the Vintage Country Mocha. So I have all of this ready to go. So that's another one I really want to start. So I could work on Brenda Gervais samplers. And of course, there's always Scarlet House. And I'd be a happy camper. Um, I don't know if I'm going to show... I'm going to show a little bit of Christmas. Um, this is one that I want to work on soon. Joy and Good Cheer. This is by Brenda Gervais. This one just came out this year. I got it kitted from Farm Girl Dry Goods. She does a wonderful job kitting. You get all these, everything you need, plus a little waxer. Merry Old Soul. I got this one last year at the retreat at Amana. Brenda had some things kitted. Um, I'm only pulling out ones that are kitted. A Winter's Day Visit. Love the snowman. These are all Brenda Gervais. Anyway, Cup of Christmas Cheer. Another one that I got bought kitted. Um, this is the new Santa Stops here. This is the one I was looking for when I found that Little Red House sampler. So this one I got in 2021 at a retreat. But it's now available for everybody. Here, and it's not reheated. It's oh, fresh. Oh, what do you know? Fresh coffee. <laughs> oh, funny. Thank you, dear. Sugar and spice. We also got this. No, I don't know if I got this last year or not. It came out last year, but... And I also have some of these little wool felted peppermint candies. A lot of that's put away with Christmas. I keep saying I'm going to do one of these a month, and yet I haven't. This is the wordplay for December. And by next week, no, next time. I'm hoping also to do a video with holiday quilts, so I want to do fall ones as I take them down and Christmas ones before I put them up. So I don't know if I'll get to that next week or not. Because you know I'll be cooking so much. Actually, Chris, Thanksgiving's going to be at my daughter's. <laughs> so anyway. This is Snowbirds. This is an older one. But I think they're really cute. That little snow couple. Rudolph and Friends. This one came out last year. I I think this is available now. I'm not. I think this is one of the ones she released this year with Santa Stops here. Um, here's all my stuff for that Santa Stops here. 
I'm only going to show you Brenda Gervais, and I'll get back to some more Christmas. This is one Brenda showed. I think she's done one of these bells. But that would be easy stitch. There's not that much stitching. And I even have the ribbon and the bells. So I could finish these myself because I'm such a big finisher, you know. Let's see what else. The other one, Snowball. I got this one last year, too, at the Amana Retreat. Not this year, last year. Brenda Gervais, whenever she does a retreat, she does a great pop-up shop. Um, I have threads that I don't know what they go to. And linen. Ah. Here's another one. This isn't Brenda Gervais, but this one I've re I really want to do. This is, was from Country Sampler. This is part of the Stacy Nash Club. Um, Wonderful Life Pin Keep Drum. Somebody's working on this that I saw. Like I said, I have a lot more. Oh, one more thing I'm going to show you. One more. I was watching the so-and-sos, which is Nancy and Kathy, and Nancy's working on these. This is by Stacy Nash. These are, these are the little snow people. This one is Whitaker, and I have the threads. And then his little friend is Paisley, and I have the linen and the threads for both of those. One more thing, I've got a big mess here that I'm gonna show you today. And I'll show you the rest. Next time, I got this from Country Sampler. I thought I had this, but I had the Rose Cottage one, which is very similar, but this is Mary Mary by Stacy Nash. And then there was a lot of, um, not a lot, but at the exchange at Amana, some people had been doing the some pairs, stitched pairs. And my sister, when we were at Country Sampler in June, was really wanting a velvet, velveteen pair. But it was a sample and they weren't going to sell it. So I need to find a pattern so I can make her, or I could use one of these patterns and make her a velveteen pair. Don't listen to that, Deb, because it may not get done if you watch this. So, Threadwork Primitives has out three pairs. This one is Believe with the Christmas tree. All of these just don't have very much stitching. So, the key is going to be in the finishing. This one is the Sampler pair. Adorable. And you just use wool or velveteen for the leaves and then a stem. And this is Bristol Sampler Pair. There's also some pair patterns by Annie B's. But I don't have those. And then I got my um, Threads of History Club. This is a Needlework Press. And it's Mary Hill, 1854. And that... Oh, and then the other one I got is the... Um, New Plum Street Cardinal Kin. I love those cardinals. And I put, we put cardinals. They're beginning to get a little worse for the wear, but we put cardinals on our tree every year. It started when I was working at Talbot's a few years ago, and they had red cardinals everywhere for um, Christmas displays. And when Christmas was over, I asked if I could have them, and she said, sure. Okay, I also got some happy mail. And this is, I haven't even opened it. It's so cute. So, so cute. This is from uh, Lisa. Prims on Greenway. I mean, she just does the most creative things. This is after we talked about doing the um, Blackbird series together, and then she sent me these. I'm telling you, she is something else. Prims on Greenway. Lisa, you got to go watch her. And then I got a sweet card from a Catherine Bosler. Beautiful card she made. 
and some thread drops, which I thought were just, that was so sweet to take the time to send me a card about how much she liked my videos and sent me these. Thank you, Catherine, that was really sweet. So that is basically all I have to say. I have a lot of stitching I wanna do, as always. So um, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you have a nice Thanksgiving. Um, <laughs> I just hope that we have a spirit of gratefulness and thankfulness because we have an abundance of good things in our lives that we need to be thankful for. So have a good day. I'm off to be stitching with friends. So I will see you. Love you. Bye.